Yeah, oh, we'll it's me. Ken. We'll get it to Ken. See, I'm nicer to you when you give me bad news. All right, for many, April 15th is tax day, but it turns out it's also World Art Day. That's much more fun. And one local business is celebrating with a party for kids that also will help a great cause. Here to tell us more about that, the real stars of this segment are Julie and Charlotte. But along with Julie and Charlotte, we have their dad, Chris Harrison, who is the owner of Wiglin Out Indoor Playground. That's where the party's gonna take place. Mm -hmm. And we also have Polita Simpson, who is the founder and CEO of Positively Arts. That's the nonprofit that will benefit from the event. Thanks everybody for being here. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Let's talk about your place first. Wiglin Out Indoor Playground has been open for four years, yep, right? Just about four years, uh-huh. And if people haven't been there, uh, what age group is it for and what will they find there? So we specialize for kids ages seven and younger. We do open soft play, we have birthday parties, and we now do events. Events like the one on April 15th, yes. celebrating mm -hmm. World Art Day. You've got a party going on. Uh, all the things you normally have. You have a ball pit and you have like yep. an obstacle ball pit, course. Ball slides, all, all that good stuff. I'm interested though in mm -hmm. the slime station. What oh is yeah, that? yeah. So the slime station, as you can see here, they are um, pretty much whatever you, whatever you can create and whatever your mind um, you can imagine, you just pretty much put it in the slime and then you take it home and then you make a mess at home with uh, it. Yeah, <laughs> you let them take it home. And this party is gonna benefit, uh, some of the proceeds will benefit Positively Arts. Polita, you started this 10 years ago, right? Yeah, it's gonna be 10 years at the end of the year. Congratulations. Thank you, this is the perfect partnership because at Positively Arts, we're all about using the arts to empower, educate, heal, and this is literally a sensory learning playground. Yeah. I mean, encouraging kids to be creative, to use their minds and to give them that authority to create and play. It's just everything we stand for and we're so grateful. Well, over the 10 years, you have given away a ton of scholarships. You have uh, put together all sorts of programs that really encourage young people to get involved with the arts. Definitely, no matter what your financial circumstance, if you want training in the arts, performing arts, media and recording, you come to us. We have never turned a child away. So and thanks Chris, to sponsors like Chris. Yeah, well, Chris, <laughs> how did you get involved? How did you learn about Positively Arts, and, and why did you dedicate this event to that? Sure. So um, when we first decided to throw this event, we wanted to give back to the community somehow. Mm -hmm. And so we contacted Positively Arts because we knew it would be just a perfect fit, and we're super excited to work with them. And um, we're actually donating 20% of all ticket sales to Positively Arts. And they're going to have a booth at the event as well. Fantastic. Well, listen, congratulations on your place. I understand it's a lot of fun. And congratulations to Positively Arts, 10 years of helping kids and Thank young you. people. Julie and Charlotte, you guys are awesome. Thank you <laughs> so much for showing us your art. World Art Day event happening April 15th. If you'd like more information, visit wigglinoutplay.com. There's no G, right? Nope. All right. Wiggling out.